Hi guys, how you doing? Yeah, uh, a lot of people were leaving comments about um, when I went to Florida, like I should have did this and I should have did that. Well, my first plan, um, the very first plan back in the early uh, January, after we had that cold spell, we had that like 30, 35 below zero. I was kind of thinking, you know, like, right, man, this is it. I, I want to get out of here. And my first idea was to take, to just take my um, trailblazer here, put a sleeping bag and a pad in the back and just put something to block up the windows and just go down there for a couple weeks and, uh, you know, park at the beach and everything. Just stay at the beach, you know, because that's Florida. That's that's why um, Flo what Florida's all about. I don't want to be out in the woods. I can do that. I do that every day here in Wisconsin. Florida is the reason why I'd want to go to Florida is to hang around the beach, you know, and see girls in bikinis and stuff like that. So I, uh, but then I called up free camping. I was looking up free camping sites and free camping places and everything, and I called up that one place, you know, if you can look it up yourself. I'm not going to tell you exactly where it is. And uh, he said, yeah, you come down, you know, you can stay in a spot for two weeks. You know, it's free camping. And then I thought, well, I, if I can stay in a spot for free and I don't have to move my trailer, move around, I'll, I'll bring my trailer down there. But uh, but that turned out to be a mistake because the campground the campsite is way far away from the beach. And like I said, I want to be by a beach. That's what Florida's all about: hanging around the beach, and, you know, walking around with a just a, a swimming suit, getting a tan, and um, going fishing. I wanted to go surf casting and all that cool stuff. So I was there, it's okay for a week or not more than a week because it gets boring out there. You know, there wasn't any firewood or anything like that. There wasn't any, uh, you know, like you couldn't go fishing. You just sit there and a lot of people like that. A lot of those older people, they'll just sit there and they get boring, boring as hell. You know, they can just sit there on a chair all day and do nothing. I'm more active. I like action. I, I like moving around. I gotta keep moving. I gotta keep, there's gotta be something interesting. I gotta be accomplishing something. So I got bored, you know, and wanted to get out of that place anyways. And I didn't care, you know, that, that place wasn't doing me any good. So, um, but yeah, and then I was spending a lot of money hauling that trailer around dragging it around wherever I go like you said I spent like $900 because I was crossing the state you know looking for a place the ideal spot by the beach but there is no ideal spot by a beach anymore the uh, all the coastline all the good places because that's where everybody wants to be that's where those old people want to be and all the rich people want to be they don't want to see a guy like me there they don't like guys like me. You know, those days are over. Probably, you could probably do that probably up to like really the, probably the mid 1970s and then they, uh, and the reason why is because all that real estate along the, the ocean there, by the beach was all bought up because those, when I could really, I could really use, cuss them out because those jerks wanted to make money so they built all those hotels there and kicked everybody off they kicked all the real people the people that should be there deserve to be there because the rich people don't want them there it's people they're paying money to stay at the you know all those hotels the sea breeze the hill down you know all those phony people they claim to be they're not good people they're not as good as they say they are because they're very hard on the environment. They're very high maintenance people. They use up a lot of energy. 
the homeless guy is uh, more of a butterfly than some upper middle class white woman. Upper middle class white women are very destructive to the earth. Anyway, that's what happened. In the 1960s, there's probably places all over. You could pull a van or a trailer like I had, just park right by the beach, and just hang. Nobody would chase you away as long as you want. You could stay as long as you wanted to. So now, and anyway, where I was, it was boring. And um, so I'm thinking, you know, I kind of think like a businessman myself because when you get older, your brain changes. Like, why am I spending money? I'm not having a good time and I'm spending a lot of money. That's stupid. Maybe for you it's fun because people are writing in. Yeah, people, a lot of those people in vans and stuff, they're very boring people. They park in a spot and they just sit there and uh, smoke dope or something and just hang out and, and do nothing. They're very, they're not active people like me. They're very, very physically inactive people, and they're boring people. What do you mean? Yeah, it is boring. For me, sitting around smoking dope until uh, 2 in the morning or all night, you know, Joe, talking stupid, talking about junk, talking about, you're boring, man. I don't want you for my friend. You're not my friend. I like action, man. I like catching fish. And I want to see girls on a beach or something. I don't want them way over there. I want them right here. I, I don't, I'm no nonsense. I want action. I, I'm paying, I came down here to spend money. If I'm spending money, that's, that other, that's just kid stuff. What they like is, that's baby, that's little boy stuff. So, you know, I'm not going to spend money to be, to have a, to be bored. I'm not going to spend money to have a terrible time. You know, I'm... The only way... The only things I spend money on are something that for fun. Really fun. It's got to be a whole lot of fun. Or uh, I'll spend money on something that's going to make me money or I'll spend money on something that's going to save me money. So, you know, if you're thinking I'm some goof-off dopey guy like you I'm not and I, I don't want to be your friend because you're an idiot and you got to find somebody like yourself to hang around with so you don't know who I am mate and it's kind of my fault a little bit because I kind of project this thing like hey man I'm really no I'm really serious <clears throat> and I don't like mistakes So um, yeah, now now if I'm now if I'm somewhere and it's not costing me any money, um, that's a different story. You know, um, and like you said, like that campground was boring. <clears throat> but you, you seen how I got? I would have probably still been down there, but I couldn't stay there anymore. <clears throat> and. Um, and I was calling up that lady, and I know what they're up to. I was trying to, because I was trying to uh, type in a reservation, you know, on, on the computer, you know, you're supposed to uh, make reservations on the internet. And it was I was blocked for some reason. And I think they blocked me because they wanted me to go to a, a regular, because like you say, people in those campgrounds, RV parks are mad. And she was kind of probably thinking about them, you know, make this guy uh, stay at an RV camp for a while, you know, make him spend money. He's down here. Make him spend money. The people down here want money to make money. So that's why they kind of blocked me. And I was, I was trying to call her up. She wouldn't answer the phone. So there was a lot of problems with that. And uh, I, I think they wanted me to stay at an RV park or a state camp, you know, spend money to stay at a state campground and crap like that. And I'm not going to spend the money to stay at a boring state campground far away from the beach. I was there for the beach.
just to kind of let you guys know what was really happening. Um, but yeah, you know, like I, my philosophy—that's my philosophy about money. Like, I don't, I don't. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to spend money if I'm not having fun. I'll tell you that right out. Not a chance. I'll walk away. Now, what, you know, one thing I always dream about, I think I would do, is uh, I'd like to take a bicycle trip because riding a bicycle is free. You know, like, but I'd like to take a bicycle trip all the way across the country. And, uh, but something like that I can't do by myself. It's too dangerous too many sure you can do it if you really people do it but it wouldn't be fun but you're saving a ton of money like if I knew I'd have to have some a couple guys with me like two other guys with me that are in shape and everything that are tough that are tougher than me even that'd really be great because you're gonna be you're gonna be in a lot of situations where you're tired and uh, I know what I'm talking about. I've been on the road I, for years. I know what it's like out there. If, if I'm with two other big tough guys, you know, that, and they gotta think like me, we really gotta click, and that's really hard to find. Most people, they're a bunch of, they're dopey. They want, yeah, let's take some drugs, let's get me. I'm I like, I'm like militaristic. I'm on the ball. I don't want to sit around and get high and drunk and be passive. That's all. You, those idiots, you guys are like a, a dime a, a shitload. You guys are pathetic. I'm talking about guys that are doing it for the adventure. Guys that are doing it because they think like me. They like nature. They like being free. They're doing it for the adventure. They're doing it to... Uh, for for the rewards in life they see that in it and uh, there are people out there but it's hard for me to meet people like that you know like two other guys that are in good shape and uh, they're, they're in prime of their life they're young and we all really we click we think alike not None of this bickering and fighting amongst ourselves and who's better and I don't like you because you don't you did this or you think you're better than me shit and that that's really hard to find guys like that people that you can can get along with like that you know um, but if I ever did if I could like if I ever did yeah then I could because then you could rest you could you if you have two other guys with two other people like you like that with you you could rest you could you know there's a lot of places you're gonna be tired you're gonna want to sleep at night you're gonna be in sometimes in dangerous places and if you're alone I, I couldn't relax if you're in some city park or something you know and you want to sleep at night you got heroin addicts bugging you crackheads bugging you Idiots that want to rob you, bugging you, or just flat out morons coming around and bugging you. And they won't leave you alone. But if you have two other guys with you, you know, you could totally relax, you know, you could totally sleep. You could let down your guard. You know, I could sleep. I could take breaks I could I could you know wouldn't have to be so worked like this like who's coming around what the hell does this asshole want you know what does he want oh boy he wants some drugs or here comes some guy that wants some money or here comes some weirdo homosexual or here comes a you know and if you don't like me, you can fuck off. If you don't like what I'm saying, go fuck off. 
if you want some idiot that uh, some loser like you that's gonna make mistakes and come and uh, complain about things you know about oh, they won't let me smoke pot oh shit I got, I'm in jail now I'm on parole you're never gonna find it from this guy this guy doesn't make mistakes ha ha you're in the wrong channel Too bad. I don't respect you. Go find someone else. So, yeah. But like I say, it, it's hard to do it when you're alone. Because I don't want to be harassed by all these rum dumb, half witted, low life scumbag people that are all over the place so uh, yeah <laughs> go find another channel to watch buddy go find somebody else if you're looking for a fool you're not gonna find it here All right, so, yeah, in my home state, here in Wisconsin, I was thinking about taking a long bicycle trip, but going across a state like that, going interstate travel like that, it's going to be, that would be too much, too long of a, a, a too epic. So, um, yeah, people in history never went on their own. Like, one Indian, like, say, like 500 years ago, didn't decide, well, one Indian, say, like, from uh, Montana, didn't decide, well, I'm going to go to Texas alone. People and travel through with all this other, you know, Indian hostile territory. That's what it's like. People, it's not natural to travel alone. It's, it's dangerous. And it's not gonna be much fun. So, yeah. Some ideas I have. But, okay. Um, I'll uh, get back to you. As soon as I can. Alright, take her easy. For the friends, for the people that really like me or that are on my side, um, you know, I hope, I hope I'm giving you some good advice. And for the people that are watching me and waiting for my demise, hoping that I s screw up, you can fuck off. Go find another channel. Because it ain't going to happen here. I'm smarter than you. I always will be smarter than you. Ha ha.